Hi, Tammy Scalfani here, Jack's wife. He wanted me to show you how we make our guacamole here at the house. Um, we learned this on our Ensenada trip that we went for our 10 year anniversary. Um, they kind of gave me the base of the recipe um, and I've kind of just evolved it over the years into my own. So come closer and I'll show you what we start off with. Okay, so obviously there's avocados. I use about six to eight of them depending upon the size and how much you want to make. Then you got your lime, which we'll put in at the end so it doesn't brown. And then we also have a little bit of flavoring too for the, the lime. Then Jack Jr. actually picked out this jalapeno a little bit big, but it's okay. So we're gonna just use one, but a medium size you would use about two to one and a half. Um, then I always get these guacamole packets, one spicy, one regular to kind of spice it up a little bit. Then we have a brown onion, which looks white, but they call it brown. Then a whole tomato and some cilantro. And then I always that top it off with some pepper and some salt. Okay, so cut into the avocado, cut it in half, take it apart. Even though it's a little brown like that, it's still okay. Take a little thing, put it in the, the bowl, then take this, and just put it Scoop it out, put it in your bowl. Just clean it to where there's nothing left into it. Okay, put that aside, do the next one. And I'm just do all your, your avocados this way. And then when I'm done, we'll show you how we add in the ingredients. Okay, so now all the avocados are in here. They're all kind of soft. You have if it, if you got hard avocados that are Semi-ripe, but not really. You can use a potato masher, but these are all pretty ripe. Jack did a good job on picking them out. So you kind of just mix it all up and see how it's already getting all creamy. So then we're gonna add the tomatoes because that's gonna give you a little bit of slice. This is a whole tomato that I cut up. Just throw it in there and then put that to the side and kind of mix it around. Now, my family likes tomato big chunks, so you can cut them to whatever you like, but we like chunky stuff. Then we're gonna add some onion. This is about a quarter of the onion that we cut. Um, you just kind of see how they're like finely diced. You can dice it however you want. Just mix it around. Okay. Then we're gonna put in the jalapenos. This is one of the whole jalapenos put in there and I kept all the seeds in. So it'll make it a little bit spicy. Mix that around. Now we'll go for the cilantro. Cilantro, I just took off all the leaves and just cut it and then dice up the cilantro. Just sprinkle it around. Mm, smells amazing. Love cilantro. And then these are the two packets of seasoning. The regular, the classic, and the spicy. Just put that inside. The, the packets are usually right where in the grocery store where the avocados are. Um, so you can kind of look around in your produce area and you'll find them. Now, to add a little bit more flavor to it, I'm gonna put in some black pepper. And this you kinda just do to your own liking. And you just kinda grind it up. And fresh is always better. You get more flavor out of your pepper. And then you got salt. Do the same thing. Okay. You can always mix it and if you want to add more, you can. If it's not spicy, you can actually add some, some cracked red pepper. Just depends upon what jalapenos you get. They aren't always spicy. Then the last thing I do is I put a little bit of lime in here. Now they say it's to help keep it from going brown. I don't know. I actually like the flavor of lime. So I just put it in here because it has a little bit of tang to it. Okay, so I put in about half the lime, mixing it around. See how it kind of makes it more like a creamier and adds a little bit of color, like um, like gloss to your, your avocado, guacamole. This is kind of rumor, I guess. They say you put the, the avocado pits back in there, helps you keep going from going brown. I don't know because my guacamole is always gone before it has a chance to turn brown. So I just put it in there because I think it's a nice little decoration. It also shows 
that you used real avocados and not somebody else's sauce. Okay, so I put in four of the eight that we used, stays in there, and then we're pretty much good. And it's ready to eat. So if you want the seasoning to kind of kick in, you put it in the refrigerator, let it get cool for about 30 minutes, and it's ready to serve. And here it is. This is what we're gonna have on Super Bowl Sunday and have some guacamole and watch some game. Okay, now let's give it a try. Really good. Creamy, jalapenos, tomato. It came flawlessly this time. Hope you guys enjoy making it. We'll see, Jack will see you on the next show. Bye-bye. Um, they showed us the basis and I've kind of just evolved it into my own recipe, adding th different things. Do it again. What? It's not basis, it's basics. Okay. We learned this on our Ensenada trip on our 10 year anniversary and they kind of showed me the basis. Basics. <laughs> Am I supposed to taste it? Yeah, you gotta give okay. it a try and talk about it. Okay, so, no, no, oops. No. Mm. Right. Mm. Really good, jalapeno, you can taste yeah. that. Let's do it again without you sniffing. Okay, so, that's it for me today. Um, Jack will see you on his next show. You guys have a great day, and enjoy. I know. The whole chip again now. Oh, come on! You have to. <sighs> These chips suck. Okay, now let's give it a try. <laughs> Can we just get the last scene here? Please stop sniffing. <clears throat> okay. What? It's not that difficult. What's wrong?